Dr. Hojo, how goes the experiment? Ah, oh, Lieutenant Colonel Kato. Minister Ishimura says that you plan to extract a monster from his soul force. Yes. Much has happened in this last month. The monster within him has been deeply submerged and has become quite weakened. We must act now before his health returns and he regains control over it. Hmm. So that's it, huh? The new vessel. Will it be able to contain the power? I cannot be certain. It will surely be powerful, yes. But I don't believe it will be able to destroy the world as you think. It's a fact. Look it up. If it heals and its power is released, it could easily destroy this city. Hmm. I don't believe that. Once Nikolai's powers are removed, he'll be useful in our negotiations with Russia. Hmm, I suppose so. I don't know much about politics. I'm just happy to be able to carry on such fascinating research. A pity. Take care he doesn't die, but this time, raise it to the maximum! It was more than the animal could handle. His power is still flowing. Hmm. He is a difficult subject. We'll need to prepare some sort of special vessel. Absolutely not. Get out of there! Yes, sir! But why? Now would be an excellent chance to test their powers. Let them fight! Right there! It's gone! No, it can teleport. 
so it's it's gone. Huh? We've got to get it back. Master. Oh, what a likable character. Master? He's really charming his way into my heart. No matter what the reason. Never disobey my orders. Uh, forgive me, Master, but I... Ignore an order from me once more, and you'll die an early death. Yes, sir. All of you, go after the monster. But if you find it, it's not to be hurt. Is that clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. Something we find out later on makes this even more fucked up. Actually, you could probably guess what it is based on what I said before. I kind of spoiled it, but who cares? Eighteen ninety-three, the capital. Good to see you again, Sensei. Uh, so, when did you get back? Yesterday. I wanted to come back earlier, but it was difficult to find the time. Oh, please, think nothing of it. I must say it's much hotter here in the capital than it is in Nara, don't you think? Yes. Forgive me. There's no one here right now. Some tea? Oh. Don't concern yourself. I have to be going soon anyway. Have you decided yet about the matter we discussed? We're going to be leaving Japan next week. Oh, really? That seems very sudden. What about Anne? And your child? You're going to be gone for a long time. I'm planning on taking them with me. Oh, is that right? But, but what about the child? What was his name again? Yuri. Oh, yes. Yuri. He must be about three now. Yes. I'm going to be raising him in mainland China. Oh? That will be good. Unlike Japan, he'll be able to meet people from different countries there. He'll grow up to be a good man. Sensei. Mm hmm? It will be a few years. No, perhaps never. I may never be able to come back to Japan. What did you say? Don't say that. Our greatest enemy, Dehuai, has his base in Shanghai. We've got to move against him carefully. I'm counting on you if I fail. Yuga. I've got to be going now. I see. I'll be praying for your safety. When you return here, we'll have a drink. Take good care of yourself. Yes, sir. Slept like a log. What an amazing picture. Where is everyone? They all went to the hangout in town. 
Yuri seemed all confused that his father and Naniwa knew each other. Karen took him out to take his mind off it. Oh, okay. Well then, I'm off to explore now too. People are going to think the circus came to town when they see you. Oh, forget it. I'll come with you. if I need this, but just in case. What has he found this time? Hmm, nice MC's desk. He doesn't really care what, what he picks up anymore, does he? Many a fierce battle this folding desk has witnessed, sometimes even breaking the fall of a throne wrestler. And then one day during a free-for-all forgotten and left behind by the commentators and audience alike. I wonder if he's going to cry again. Ah, oh, it's flimsiness. It's cheap frame. The deep pain of a wrestling organization with no money cries out to me. I think he's remembering something. Something in his past. Well, let's go, everybody. Say, I know. Instead of using the top as a bludgeon, I should chop the enemy with it. Yeah, good idea. I wonder what he re what he was remembering. I really want to know now.
Peacher, what are you doing here? Yo, Joachim, my boy! The path of spirited young men knows no borders. How about it? Ready to give me a little of your sweat? But what are you doing here in Japan? What could be better? Men rubbing flesh, slamming bodies together here under the open sky. Wouldn't you agree, my boy? Of course. Then, a boy, why don't you show me a little of your sweat, then? You got it. Here we go, then. Grr! Okay, come and learn your lesson, then, my boy. Hee hee, keep your eyes open. I'll be slamming you with my deadliest attack in the third turn. Can you handle it? Come at me now, my boy. Grr! He's, um... He's... I pressed that! Survive this? Because in the third turn, he's going to use a third key, and you will not survive that, I'm pretty sure. My defense is high? I haven't even been using you, Akimi. You shouldn't have been getting that much XP. Well done, my boy. Your toil and sweat have paid off. Accept this new move for me. May it bring you to higher places. Whenever you want to test th your skills, come back to me, my boy. The open air ring will always be waiting for you. Thank you, teacher. Are you thinking about your father? Yeah. I can hardly remember anything from when I was a boy. The funny thing is, I can still hear the sound of that old ship. The one that took the three of us to China. Your father died while fighting this wizard who was planning to destroy all of Japan, is that right? Okay, that's a funny mental image. <laughs> yeah, I was ten years old. Your father died fighting an evil wizard. And your mother? After my father was killed, monsters attacked us at our house. They were sent by Dehwai. That wizard, they killed my mother. Fate's a strange thing. My father gave his whole life to save Japan. And I'm doing everything I can to try to stop it. I think... I understand him. Huh? It wasn't for Japan. Your father was actually fighting... for you. And he was fighting for your mother as well. For me and my mother? I told you my family was poor, but that we were once nobility in Munich, right? Growing up, 
I worked harder than anybody else to keep the honor of our family name. If I succeeded in the army, I thought that it would reflect well on my family. I didn't do it for my country. I did it for my sick, bedridden grandmother that I left at home. But you see, I don't have a home anymore. It's been destroyed by those sapientes gladio bastards. That's why I really think that your father did what he did for the wife and the son that he loved. I'm sorry. No, I don't want that. I'm fine. It doesn't help to blame fate. It just makes you sad and bitter. Live every moment to the fullest and the future starts to look brighter. You're a strong woman, Karen. That's right. You better remember that. <laughs> 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 This is Karen's theme, by the way. <laughs> wow, this is getting kind of steamy, don't you think? <laughs> Wyatt, they'll hear you. What are they doing? Just grab her and plant one on her already. Push her head down like this. Push Gee, her head don't down? Be such a wuss. Go and make your move. You can do it. Go. Kiss her. I Kiss think her. You Rab. will help. Huh? <laughs> mm. Uh. Mm. Do you remember your mother? Of course. She met my father when she was in Japan. And it was love at first sight for her. Was she pretty? I can't remember her face that clearly. What was she like? Why all these questions? Come on, I just want to know. We moved around a lot after we got to China. Finally, we settled in Mulan. But because my father was away so much, my mother and I got to spend a lot of time together. She was a strong woman, but she was lonely too. Is that enough? This is embarrassing. No way. You're not stopping right now. Please, come on. <laughs> she had a hard time growing up, but she was happy in Japan with my dad. Of course, after we moved to China, she would sometimes complain about how her life went. Hmm. To her ten-year-old son? And she'd always say... She'd be happy, no matter where she was, as long as she had me. Oh. But whenever I heard that, I became furious at my father for having left us. And I wanted to punch him! Naturally. It was my mother who named me Yuri. How did she pick that name? I guess that was the name of her first lover. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. I can't hear what they're saying. He just said that he loved her. He really said that? Quiet. They're too loud. <laughs> His line reads are oh, great. Sorry. Uh. Yuri? May I ask you just one more thing? Yeah, I guess so. You might as well. Were you in love with Alice? Oh, oh my stomach. My stomach's killing me. Uh, uh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Hey, come on. I'm serious, you know? Uh, 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 Yuri, wait! Uh, Cut it out! I swear, I gotta go!
Oh, I went. <laughs> 